Big day, it's finally here. Um, I'm gonna ride the 250 two stroke, the 96. It's actually this one I'm gonna ride. Um, Wob's come up, got Tom Fuller, he's bought a helmet up. Even Billy Bolt's popped up to witness it all. Um, and these are them bikes, really. Not much to it. And then Bill, we're come go and ride. show him how to do an intro. I can't be seen with them two red things, I do apologize. You can't be seen with them? I've just given him a prep talk about it and everything as he it, up. it right up. No, I thought that was all right. <laughs> oh, intros. Offered to do one for my channel. Yeah, and then, then I, I um. The camera in his face and he went, uh, I can't actually remember what. No, I was, was going to do one for Bills, but then it all went to pot. We're going to ride the bikes today. In that's my intro, really. <laughs> <laughs> the eyebrows going. <laughs> Make sure you ride them good. Don't ride them like you rode at Blacksall. No, I won't. I'm going to put a bit of effort in. Oh, no, man. don't cut that bit. I put <laughs> I've had a bollock in that they didn't think, but I'm going to ride it, uh, I'm going to do my best, which I do every single week. It may have not looked like it, but um, yeah, we're just going to have a good day on them. custom design has come up we sort of wanted a little bit of a theme the McGrath theme but not too much McGrath but you know I didn't want to go like other obviously it's been done a few times before with the McGrath bike so yeah McGrath's a classic design from the 90s so we put a little bit of flow in there just to make it pop in the Sun put some glitter on there and then your request gold leaf on the back so yeah it's actually a proper paint job always monster now with the claw with the monster helmets they always want to use a sticker so you'll see it that's not that's not hand painted, is it? No. Yeah, we use the stickers just to keep the logos consistent for yeah. Monster. If you go onto Google and look up Paint Job Monster Energy, yeah. there's some there's some there's disasters some on ones. this. So um, that's just to keep it consistent. When when you ordered it, we got about any any one time we're running at about a three month um, order list. Why um, has this been fine? He's not jumped the queue again, has he? No, no. This has been two months and four weeks. So it's actually it we've actually? we've over delivered. And he said, how come Wobs can build two bikes and you can't even paint one helmet? <laughs> it's just a helmet. And I said to him, I did actually why say can't, that last week time. Why can't you just find four seconds around normal <laughs> against Hurlins? He went, I always hold back. And then DT said, yeah, I, I, I've heard that. Not my words. <laughs> he's, got a, he's, got a he's got a valid point, valid point there. I have no comment on that. Um, I seem to get abused. Whoever comes up, I seem to get the piss ripped the out. The common denominator channel. is yeah. you. But I think it's good. So Alpine Star sent this. CI Sport. Obviously, it's a little bit different to my normal gear. It's not got the team sponsors, so um, I apologise. I tell you what it has day. got. Well, it's still got the label in it, mate. It's still got the label. Yeah, lovely. But um, I think I am going to ride my race my race bike that's coming up in a bit so I don't know whether to do it in this video it was like a comparison or just try and fill out the uh, YouTube milk channels it, milk it yeah for I think milk it of another video because we could go straight away 250 v450 but I reckon we can just stretch that out no, we can get we? another seven I mean we've milked this for how long now five months yeah long enough so people half the people are probably like fucking hell mate we've seen it hundred times but you actually haven't and um we'll, we'll milk it a bit further the 250 by 450 Bill Keith He's the general manager at Troy D and Troy D with the riders. Oh, on well, the Husky. This is a better way to earn a few quid, eh? What? This, this, this bit. bit. Being a model. No, modelling. I don't know. <laughs> I think it'd get pretty tedious pretty quickly. Well so done, Stez, for your enduro fans. All right, I'll get that. Man. Bill, any tips for him? Do it. Go for it. go up the um, big track this one's quite tight I just got to get used to, to um, you have to get used to carrying more corner speakers 
they don't squirt like a four stroke. You nah. can't stop and then go fast again. You're gonna have to just carry more speed. Yeah, that's why I want to go the main track where it's more of a, you've got the berms in the corners. This one's so tight for the mini bike. When, when Rhino rode that 500, it wasn't till the last, when he first got on it, he stiffer, 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 stiffer. Well, we had the settings from the last time he rode a 500 at Nations, wherever the fuck it was. And um, the suspension was all done the same as that Bones of Pro Circuit did it for us. We were one click away from where we started by the last race. <laughs> taught you everything you know with that camera so you're in ah, i've done a bit of google learning you're in my area of expertise now william what do you think to his new bike sounds naughty don't really care about old pieces of shit before but I, I i've just i've just done a clip you'll see it when you edit it am i Falling editing out, yours we're in it what am i editing yours as well editing this as well because i've gone america and i've got three romaniacs vlogs still to edit so you're doing this on 85 husky we need anyone on tommy's 85 husky big dirty fender scrape down the main road on an 85 Husky. <laughs> There's a leg on him. She's going like this to shift. Well now he feels. Hi right, Tom. Right here. Then cut the engine. Well done. You having fun? Yes, yeah, good. It's really nice. The position you're sat on a bike, you wouldn't think it is turned. If you were sat in this position on your 450, you'd just, you just go straight on. But on this, it still turns. It's hard to get my head around because I'm coming into a corner and I'm sat like this, and well, I'm look, thinking, your arse is behind your feet. Yeah, I'm thinking there's no way I'm going to go around the corner, and then all of a sudden I find my find it just going whoa, and I'm like, fuck, that's mad. Yeah, but yeah, even I'd, like around these corners, the it just can't. Yeah. Look at that track. What's that shit track you're riding on? What's that? All the Americans he's, he's, in the comments will give you fucking... He's upsetting breaks. your American audience, No, I like my American audience. <laughs> They'll be giving shit about your track team. No, I like them, Get all track he's riding on. You're going to go actually the best track we've got in the UK, actually. Days. You're going there tomorrow, so don't upset him. Yeah, right? don't upset him all. Go and drink some moonshine. That's not even American, is it? Of it is, isn't it? Yeah. Moonshine, fuck, yeah. Is it? Oh, yeah. yeah. From Tennessee, that's where you have moonshine, isn't it? It feels like you're going faster. Yeah. I think you have no, to I did think that, but I'm getting a bit more used to it. But the he said it takes really the bumps efficient. well. He's fucking, there's no bumps on his track. He's flattened it this morning. No, no, I was just. Bump <laughs> there's one over there. <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> Go and do a stoppy on the landing there. Take yeah, over that. Did you teach him that? It's not getting any better, is it? But it's been a few weeks since we had any lessons. That was a, that was a test! That might sound like an old bit of bike shop and bob, but they just, they just don't like the new thing. <laughs> I don't know, it's strange how good it does stuff, because the position you're in on the bike doesn't feel like it would work, but then all of a sudden it just rides around the corner and you're like, fucking hell, I can sort of carry more speed than I am. Than I initially thought, so it's nice. To just I've also got to learn it because I've never rode this bike. It's not like someone that's rode it, and then it actually is quite a bit different. But all in all, I love it. What do you say you're doing? Richening it up. Richening the needle and idle. Richening it up a bit. Richening the needle and idle. Know what that is or not? You definitely don't know. No, I do. Well, I what used to ride two straight. Kind of what is it? In the carburetor. Yeah. What 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 they're doing in the carburetor? Richening the needle and idle. How do you do that? Um, take the needle out, put a different needle in. Do you? No, you put a different jet in. Oh. Is that what you're doing? Jetting it? Jetting it, yeah. Impressed with that, aren't you? Probably my um, viewers are impressed with that so as you, well. You stay off the tools. Stay as far away from it. No, I am. I'm not on the tools. I'm just having a little... I'm just paying an interest in.
I want to be able to whip it, but I need to get this better. Is there any other jumps you could whip it off? Yeah, but I need to get some confidence up first. <laughs> Oh, we're having a rock check. I reckon you can lay one down. What? I reckon you can lay one in. <laughs> Me too, a little bit, but... <laughs> I reckon you got it. I've not got... You haven't got the power of the 450 to help me turn how I whip. If someone, like, would normally come up and hang off, you could do it perfect, but I just... I need to carry more speed. I'll, go, I'll have another one. Any better? I'd say that's a nice 90s style whip. <laughs> Is it? That's quite nice. I don't know how to do a 90s. That's... No, like it's enough. Like it's, that's fairly big. Oh. It's bigger than my 2021 whip, let's put it that way. Well, you're not a professional, you're <laughs> good on the camera. Well, you're a professional. Semi. I'll have another go. Very nice. I'm getting a bit of comp I'm getting a bit of confidence now. Oh yeah? It feels um just the way the bike sits, it's so different to what I'm used to, so then I don't think it can do what it what it does, so it's like surprises me how good it goes around a corner. It looks good. On the jumps it looks mint. Yeah now it's really planted. I think you'll be surprised by this footage. Why? Because it looks good honestly. Yeah I re I feel alright on it. It's mad because obviously you ride the 450 all the time and the 450 is so fast, sits well and the, the position you're in on the bike is so, so different. So it's, it's just surprising me every time I go out. And now it's only really second session still, sort of cramming it all in one go, but I'm so, so surprised with how nice the bike feels. I loved it. What do you reckon to my skills in it? Would yeah. I have made a rider back in the day? I think so, yeah, you're doing all right. I mean, a bit more practice, a bit more corner speed, but... You're more corner more. speed. Yeah, got to be more corner speed. Yeah. <laughs> the, track really... was, the, the track wasn't helping my corner speed with the rocks. It just took me a time to um, to realise like the potential of the bike. Yeah, there was a massive learning curve. It's such a different thing. Well, you almost showed up. You, you almost worthy of the helmet. Showtime. No, it, it's the Showtime um, font. <laughs> and with the gold leaf. I wanted the gold leaf because I've not had many items. Oh. At least it works. It was broke weeks ago. What broke yesterday? How do you know how to work that? <laughs> I've used, I'm uh, not that one, that's the first time, but them red things just pat it on the top. Good guess. Thanks for coming up, Bob. No problem, mate. Been, uh, been mega. Can, we have, a, can we have a final tally up of how much this would yeah, cost? Yeah, people would want, no. 
to, to build that bike from no because the, then we're going to talk profits then so let's just say what if i wanted to buy this bike today yeah, just your bike finished what's this cost me that bike as it stands 12 grand a lot of for me to sell that now. bike is 12 grand as it stands yeah well, because there's a lot of a lot of average stuff out there for sixes and sevens well, we've that, had a bit of a deal because we've got discount parts and things yeah. and what's done me a deal in the videos but the other one well you built two didn't you built two, the other yeah. one sold the other one sold and i've got people asking me about this one if Don't you want to sell, if you sell it kid, if you want to sell it but at the moment it belongs to me more than it does you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> true <laughs> Uh, backyard designs, yeah. we do a little shout out. <laughs> <laughs> now you got me talking. Well, they've obviously done the stickers pretty clear. Tor Bay MX has uh, helped with the build. You've Bridgestone. Got, you seem to have a few new stickers on the helmet as yeah, well. Yeah, I've got another sticker on the helmet if you can zoom in. So I've got um, two on there. He's a new sponsor, he's helped me. So big shout out to him. I don't actually remember the name on the top of my helmet, <laughs> but it's on there. <laughs> <laughs> um, the and man then, above, Lord above. No, yeah, Lord, Lord above. Keeping keep me safe on the two-stroke. Wob for keeping me safe on the two-stroke. Um, all the sponsors that have helped Wob put the bike together. My Crendon um, Hondas are much better. <laughs> my my uh, day fork back to Crendon Honda Motocross 450 is way better, but this is still Shut fun to ride. Fucking lick ass. <laughs> <laughs> right, I've got to go. I love you and leave you. We'll shout Dave Thorpe and the Crendon Honda team for letting me have this bike and doing this project, so really appreciate that. And we'll get back to winning some races, Dave, I promise. <laughs>